Hello friend, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make four easy muffin recipes. I woke up this morning and I wanted to make a video and I thought, you know what? Muffins sound really good. And so that's what we're doing today. I decided instead of showing you how to make one flavor of muffin that I was going to show you how to make four flavors of muffins, but I didn't wanna have 48 muffins in my kitchen. Now, if you wanna make a full batch of these recipes, just take the recipe and multiply it by four and you'll have your full 12. But today, I only wanted to make two or three of each because I wanted to show you a few different flavors. And so, if you're new to following me, I link all of my recipes down in the description box below. If you're ever looking for my recipes, I post most all of them on my website, nicolethenomad.com, but I also post tons on my Instagram, at Nicole underscore the nomad, the Pepper app, which is free to download, and on my TikTok as well. So make sure you're following me on all those platforms so that we can connect and become friends but hey if you're new here I am so glad to meet you thank you for being here it means so much and I'm so glad that you found my channel so drop a comment down below tell me a little bit about yourself drop a fun fact don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and before we get started hit that subscribe button because I drop new videos every single Friday and I want you to be the first to see them okay let's get into it starting off with our lemon blueberry muffin we're gonna keep it easy today and do everything all in one bowl. We're going to start by mixing our wet ingredients into the bowl. So we have lemon juice, whole milk, oil, one egg, and then just a splash of vanilla. Since we're only making about two muffins for these recipes, some of the measurements were so small that I'm just going to keep it as like a splash of vanilla, a dash of cinnamon, a pinch of salt, because it's such a small amount that it won't really make a difference. That is the beautiful thing about cooking and baking is that you don't have to take it so seriously. There are some baking recipes that you do have to be very exact with the measurements, but if you've been baking for a while, you'll start to realize that there are some things that just don't matter as much. That's the way I like to do it, just kind of guesstimate. Okay, that's looking lovely. Now we are going to pour in our dry ingredients right on top of that. Here I have some flour and baking soda, and then our sugar. You can mix this into the wet ingredients if you want to. A lot of recipes will have you mix in the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients separate, and then you combine them. But again, these measurements are so small that it's not really going to make a difference. What you want to make sure though is that you don't overmix because muffins are a quick bread, and by that I mean that there's no yeast, so you don't have to let this dough rise over time. It's a quick bread. The baking powder or baking soda is the leavening agent inside this recipe that causes the muffins or the bread to rise, and so you just want to make sure you don't overmix it otherwise your muffins will be tough instead of nice and fluffy and nobody wants tough muffins we want the fluffy muffins please ignore the construction going on on the side of my house they are finally paving the road behind me so that I can access my house much quicker instead of driving all the way around the neighborhood so I'm just going to fold this in gently and I'm gonna stop as soon as it's not lumpy we just want to mix it enough to get that leavening agent, the baking soda, activated so that these muffins can rise in the oven. Okay, that's looking beautiful. Finally, I'm going to fold in some sour cream. This is going to make our muffins so soft. Comment down below what your favorite kind of muffin is. I think mine's a tie between blueberry and coffee cake. However, as a child, let me know if you remember those giant muffins from Costco, the chocolate ones. They're like so big that you have to cut them in half. I remember eating those as a kid and I loved them. Now I'm gonna do almost all of the blueberries. I'm gonna save a couple just for the tops so that it looks nice and pretty. And then just for fun, I am going to get a little bit of lemon zest in here. See what you think, do what feels right. I'm a big advocate for just kinda cooking with the heart. It's gonna give a little bit more flavor. But if you're paranoid, that is about half a tablespoon. I'm gonna gently fold that in. Time for the pan. This is gonna be the perfect amount. You know, we might even have, we might even have enough to make three. Okay, now I'm just gonna put a couple more blueberries right here on the top. Okay, amazing. Now these are ready for the oven, except I think what I'm gonna do, because I'm really impatient, is put all of the muffins we make in the same pan. I don't think that'll affect the baking. I don't know though, because I've never tried. <laughs> We're gonna try it today, and we'll see how it goes. Next up is our coffee cake muffin. This is one of my favorites because of the crumb topping. We're gonna do the same thing like last time, mix everything in one bowl, starting with our wet ingredients. I just added some vegetable oil, our brown sugar, one egg, and a splash of vanilla. Get all that mixed up. Honestly, I should probably just make an entire batch of just these. And then we're gonna add our dry ingredients right on top. A little bit of flour, baking soda and baking powder a pinch of salt, and then a little dash of cinnamon. Gently fold that in, remembering not to overmix. As soon as you don't see any flour spots, that's when you know to stop. Okay, now for the crumb topping. We have a little bit of melted butter, white sugar, brown sugar, 
and flour. I'm gonna mix this all together until it gets nice and crumbly. Yum. I love when baked goods have a crumble on the top. Man, when that stuff bakes and you bite into it, it's like super buttery. Mm. There's nothing better. Delicious, okay. You can kind of see, nice and crumbly. Cut my pan again. Y'all, I'm so curious to see if this works doing different muffins in one pan. I have no idea. We're gonna take our crumb topping. You might have extra, but then just load it up on top and kind of press it in so it so it sticks. Amazing, yes, we had lots of crumb topping. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, moving on to our next. In honor of my favorite childhood muffin, next up is the double chocolate chocolate chip muffin. I hope this one tastes like the one at Costco. In a bowl, we are going to combine some vegetable oil, milk, one egg, and white sugar. I've always been slightly confused as to the difference between a muffin and a cupcake because they're very similar to me and like, isn't a cupcake just a muffin with frosting? Someone let me know if you know the difference because I've been confused for a long time. Okay, once that's mixed in, we are going to do our dry ingredients. So we're gonna put our flour in first, some baking soda, cocoa powder, and a pinch of salt. And then gently fold this in. Again, these are quick breads, so don't over mix it. No, <gasps> I forgot vanilla. Splash of vanilla. Y'all know I'm never surprised anymore. Every single time I do one of these videos and I make a recipe, I forget an ingredient. You just kinda gotta expect it at this point. Beautiful. Now we're going to add in our sour cream. This makes our muffins nice and fluffy. So fluffy, I'm gonna die. Kinda gonna fold this guy in. And last but not least, some chocolate chips. Into the pan they go. I think we got three muffins out of this guy. We were a little short on our coffee cake, so we're making up for it with the chocolate. <laughs> oh, perfect. Wow, amazing. Our final muffin is a healthy peanut butter and banana muffin. We're gonna start by adding in half of a mashed banana, some peanut butter, of course, some maple syrup, milk, one egg, Whoa, get out of there. And a little bit of Greek yogurt. Mix all that up. Amazing, now for our dry ingredients, we have flour, baking soda and baking powder, a pinch of salt, and then a dash of cinnamon. Just like before, we'll fold them all in. Nice and easy. Oh, this one smells so good. <laughs> wow. All right, and these are ready for the pan. And our oven's ready. Looks like we got three out of this one too. Amazing. Okay, these are ready for the oven. I'm gonna put these in at 375 for about 18 to 20 minutes. Each of these recipes, they all bake at 375, which is why I think it won't be an issue that they're different and they're all in one pan. Because if you make any of these, you're probably not gonna be like me and make all four at once. But if you want to, you certainly can. So if you're just making one of these recipes, you will still bake them at 375 for about 18 to 20 minutes. But be sure to watch your oven and do the toothpick test to test if they're ready. Okay, they just came out of the oven. I'm gonna pop these out so they can cool on a cooling rack. <sighs> okay, they did okay with the baking. The chocolate ones, I think look the best. Our, our blueberry, our lemon blueberry ones didn't pop up quite as much as they normally do. Honestly, I think this is because we made these ones first and the the baking soda was already activated in the batter when they sat there while I made all the rest of them. Um, maybe I thinking, I'm thinking that is what caused them to not rise as much. But if you're just making this blueberry recipe, it shouldn't do that. Ooh, look at our coffee cake one. Ah, wow. Oh, I'm so excited. All righty, now we need to see how they taste. We're gonna start with the peanut butter one. It's just kind of calling my name. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yummy. This reminds me of banana bread. It's so good. Oh, and it's so warm. You can taste like the cinnamon in it. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna have to have self-control because we're doing four of these. Now let's see the chocolate. I have a feeling this is gonna taste like a cupcake and I'm really excited about it. Mm. Oh, wow. Holy moly. Okay, if you like rich things, you're going to love this. The chocolate chips are all melty on the inside. Can you see that? Oh, y'all. This tastes 
so much like that one at Costco. I feel like I have chocolate all over my face. Do I have chocolate on my face? Time for the coffee cake. I wanna get a bite with that crumble on the top. This one's messy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that crumble on the top is where it's at. This one would be so perfect for the morning time with your cup of coffee. Mm, so yummy. Okay, and last but not least, our sad little deflated lemon blueberry muffin. I bet he's still gonna taste good though. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's so zesty. Mm. I love that. If you're a fruity muffin person, this is gonna be your muffin. Wow. That was so much fun. I hope you loved learning how to make these muffins. Once again, I've linked all the recipes down in the description box below if you wanna make them later. If you make any of these, let me know. Come back to this video and comment down below. And hey, drop a comment of any other suggestion, any other recipes you wanna see here on this channel. If you haven't already, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. We'll see you next week. Bye.